Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2013 Panini Select Football six box half case Ram team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can remember in the break we did maybe sometime last week, I think. I marked all of those RT so you know that they all come from the same case. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. I really appreciate it. Finally got this 2013 knocked out. All football teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Jeff down to Peter. Six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Colts down to Pats. All right, Jeff with the Colts, Phil with the uh, Cowboys, Zach with the Vikings, James with the Bills, Jeff with the Steelers, James with the Browns, Bill with the Redskins, Ian with the Giants, Kyle Armstrong. Do we have two? Oh, just one Kyle and this. Two Jeffs, two Jameses. Anyway, Kyle, you have the Panthers, James with the Titans and the Chargers. Serenity, you have the Jags. Chris with the Broncos, Bill with the Raiders, Phil uh, Phil Lee. We've got Philip M and Philip L. Philip L has the Falcons. David with the Lions, Neil. Last spot, Mojo, Chiefs. TJ with the Buccaneers. Tyler Brenner saying, breaking news, Bucks won't be signing Antonio Brown. Alexander with the Packers. Nick Anderson with the Rams. Lou with the Ravens. Diane with the Saints. David with the Jets, Nick with the Bears, Andy with the Cardinals, Rob with the Niners, Richard with the Eagles, Scott with the uh, Texans, James M with the Dolphins, Ryan with the Bengals, Colin with the Seahawks, Peter with the Patriots. Is it news if people if teams don't sign people? Breaking news. Colts won't be signing Tom Brady. I guess, I guess they're officially saying we're out of the running, letting people know that. In my old uh, journalism school days, they would say, man, dog biting man, doesn't. that's not news. But when a man bites dog, that's news. All right, no, it looks like no trade, so let's not even bother with a trade window. We don't need TWC, trade window closed. There you go, Jeff Anderson. Colt Scott Rivers, exactly. That's news. I think acquiring a player is news. Not acquiring a player, could that be news? All right, so let's keep the 2013 draft class on hand. I just dropped the link into the chat. TJ's worried about Tampa Bay. Uh, Mike Glennon? Uh, all right, sorry, TJ. All right, let's 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 get to ripping. Cam Newton in talk with the Jags? No, 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 no. We don't want that. That's bad for the hobby. I want the Jaguars to be like, we're gonna go with Gardner Minshew. He's our guy. Oh, did you sell it out, Trendsetter? I needed someone to buy the Blue Jackets. Jeff Anderson heard Texans talking about trading Deshaun Watt. What are the Texans doing?
you will, says Aaron. Uh, you know how much I don't like future tense. My favorite is past tense. I don't like I'm going to. I will. I like past tense. I already. <laughs> I bought. What? what? Who is their general manager? The Houston Texans general. What, what in the world is going on over there? bit confused as what the what the Texans are doing. There's CJ Anderson 152 out of 199 rookie autograph. That does not nice, thanks, Aaron. That does not apply to group breaks, Rex. To one ninety nine. Wait, Bill O'Brien. Oh, that's right. Bill O'Brien's doing the whole coach. G when is that? When has that ever worked in modern times? I feel like, I mean, no one's mistaking Bill O'Brien for like, you know, Tom Landry, right? There's Alex Okafor to 299 autograph for the Cardinals that'll be that'll be for CJ Anderson goes to Chris there you go Mr. Mike's daddy you, you got randomized the Broncos and Andy with the Cardinals there's the final printout right there what does what does Bill O'Brien have on Texans ownership why does he have so much power? Are Houston fans going to stand for another rebuild? There's Robert Alford, rookie auto for the Falcons. Philip L. with that one. Like, I thought... I would think that someone like Deshaun Watson and... DeAndre Hopkins would be like cornerstones of, of your offense. Zach Ertz, rookie jersey autographs. Eagles, Richard Dunn. Now, I know that's expired, Richard, but I've heard more often than not that with old redemptions, people still scratch this off and they still go through the system. If not then I think you should be able to, con especially for a name like this, you should be able to contact Panini and be like, hey, can I, can I get something here for this? Tim Kirkjian on saying, I don't know if you guys heard that on the team, saying that he's gone through five seasons of Columbo and uh, and like four seasons of Get Smart. Yeah, Panini and even Tops in recent years have been a lot better about expired redemptions. 
Upper Deck apparently are still, have been and are still uh, sticklers for that. What do they do with those expired? Like, I don't know what's happening with that. You guys remember Get Smart? Trendsetter, it is always a family show. From start, 2 o'clock Pacific, to finish, 10 o'clock Pacific. There's Dwayne Bow, 10 out of 10. Get Smart, I think is, uh, from what I re remember... Pretty good. We got Kenyon Barner. Kenyon Barner rookie autograph. Panthers, Kyle Armstrong with that one. 489 out of 499. Jack B thought Agent 99 was pretty hot. What what which show was better? I Dream of Genie? I guess it's more of a genie, not a witch. Or Bewitched? 204 out of 499. Bloody Ray Wilson for the Titans. That'll be for James and the Titans. Richard Dunn saying, Panini's very tough. You can't get a ton. Um... Well, nowadays, I'm sure that they're they're not at full capacity staff wise. But are you or are you saying just in general? Oh, are they two just completely different shows? TJ saying you can't really compare those two shows. I think I'm I think I'm more familiar with I Dream of Genie. There's Luke Wilson. 346 out of 499. Yes, that Luke Wilson. I want to see a Luke Wilson, Owen Wilson dual auto. There's DeAndre. We were just talking about him. Rookie, jersey, and autograph. Rookie jersey and autograph, DeAndre Hopkins. Who got randomized the Texans? Scott Corwin randomized the Texans. Nice. Two twenty out of three ninety nine. I don't know why they I feel like after seeing after seeing what the what the Vikings got for Stefan Diggs you would think that the Texans could have gotten a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe maybe Bill O'Brien's crazy like a fox. I have no idea. Think I need a train horn installed in the studio? And I just, just be a chain right here and I just pull the chain? Put like a big steam steam whistle right back there. We know a couple people in the train industry. Maybe maybe we can get an old old steam train whistle here. Blow out my ears. Two 
just blast it so the whole pier can hear it. Hermosa Beach Pier. Yeah, O'Brien has to be on the hot seat soon enough. I, I mean, if he trades Deshaun Watson and he just doesn't have a plan, or doesn't draft a quarterback in the first round, or it's, I, I don't know what are what are fans thinking out there in Houston? We got Tavares King to four ninety nine for Mr. Mike's Daddy and the Broncos. Oh, these are not numbered, by the way. I know you're probably thinking, hey, that looks like a parallel. No, it's not. I think the teal ones maybe are numbered, but that's why I'm breezing by those. There's Travis Kelsey. Remember, he's a rookie too. Travis Kelsey rookie autograph. Wow, DeAndre Hopkins and the Travis Kelsey. That'll be for Neil and the Chiefs. Last spot mojo. Ninety-three out of one ninety-nine. Couple nice ones in here. I think these are numbered? Oh no, maybe these aren't numbered either. All right, never mind, I lied. Sorry. There's Desmond Trufant, rookie auto for Philip and the Falcons. Did Bill Parcells double up? I mean, but Bill Parcell double up on coaching and GM, Mr. Mike's daddy is asking. I don't know offhand. But. I mean, we're not about to compare Bill O'Brien to Bill Parcells, though, right? The redemption again expired, but Vance McDonald. Pittsburgh? Niners. Late second round pick for the Niners. So that'll go to Rob. Now, Sam Strayer says his friend has a, has a train whistle in his truck and goes up to Penn State and scares, scares the co-eds with it. It would be terrifying. I would be terrified, too. All right. Halfway through this half-case break. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Rebel, it's happening. You are... Which Kyle are you? you you're, you're Armstrong, right? Oh, there's only one Kyle in this? Um, where's your, where are you? I thought I saw you. You got... Yeah, you got the... You got randomized the Panthers... Kyle and um, Kenyon Barner, rookie autograph.
sorry. There's Travis Kelsey, gold. Eight out of you were hoping to get the Chiefs. The Chiefs did okay. Travis Kelsey, gold to ten for Neil. Last spot mojo. This goes along with your Kelsey rookie auto. Sorry, Rebel. There's Kevin Mintner, 173 out of 199. That reminds me of baseball closer. Reliever? A.J. Mittner? Isn't there an A.J. Mittner? Braves, maybe? Alex Okafor, 278 out of 299. Andy with the Cardinals. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Mr. Mike's Daddy saying Bill Parcells was uh, was GM and coach when he was with the Jets. I would trust I would trust Parcells more before I trust Bill O'Brien to do to double up. But I get in the modern NFL, that's just that's just difficult to do. There's Jeff Tool. Four ninety nine. Bills for James. James M. Tyler Eifert going to Ryan Rayner and the Bengals. I think Mr. Mike's daddy was reminding us earlier today. That the Bengals won 13 games in 2013. Oh, 11 games. They went 11 and 5. They won the AFC North in 2013. Man, those are the days. Ryan Nasib to 399. Rookie jersey and autograph for the Giants. We'll go to Ian. Two more boxes to go. Patriots went twelve and four that year, twenty thirteen. The set that we're doing. Colts went eleven and five. Denver, the AFC West was busy that year. Denver went thirteen and three, made the playoffs. Chiefs were eleven and five, made the playoffs, and the Chargers were nine and seven, made the playoffs. On the NFC side of things, Eagles won the NFC East, ten and six record. Packers won the NFC North with an eight seven and one record. It's a, it's a weird weird record to win the division. Pan Carolina Panthers went twelve went twelve and four to win the division. Saints also went to the playoffs eleven and five. Seahawks went thirteen and three. And the Niners finished on a six-game winning streak, went 12-4 in 2013. And what Super Bowl was that? Oh, that was the that was the Seattle. Oh, that was the Seattle 43, Denver 8 Super Bowl. Was that Peyton's first year in Denver? I think maybe. Was that the game that started off with the safety? And then and then it just kind of went downhill from there? For the for the Broncos that is. I think that just kind of threw them off the entire game and then just it was just sad times after that. James says yes. Man, that was a weird game.
Ian remembers it as a as a horrible game. As a Raiders fan, I was like, I was a little gleeful. My Raiders went four and twelve that year, so I had something I had something to cheer about. There's Jonathan Cyprian, rookie autograph for the Jags. Serenity with the Jaguars. To 199. Another redemption. It's going to be Marcus Lattimore. Saints? He was a Niner too? It's another one for San Francisco. Rob. I blanked on that. Tavares King to four ninety nine. Another rookie autograph for the uh, Broncos, Chris Hale, Mr. Mike Saddy. There's Justin Brown for the Steelers. Steelers autograph going to Jeff, Jeff W. Jeff Anderson. Oh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, I think you're lagging by by a solid minute or two. Make sure make sure you're watching live or you refresh the uh, refresh your app or the page however you're watching. Last box. All right, good luck, everyone. Do we like Scott Van Pelt? I think he's, I like him. I think he's a good host for Sports Center at night, I guess, or Scott Van Pelt Sports Center, whatever this is. Scott Van Pelt Show slash Sports Center. I like Scott Van Pelt. I don't think I like him enough to like listen to his podcast and stuff like that. He seems, seems fine. I have, I have no objection to him. And another Cardinal, Andy, with the cards. Kevin Mintner. Yeah, and you know, it might not just be you too, Jeff. I think YouTube has stated that they are going to be sort of kicking live streams down to standard definition and whatnot, and maybe only allow videos to be played in standard definition for a short amount of time since so many people are working from home. So it could be related to something about that, but just something for everyone to keep a, keep a note for. There's Travis Kelsey to 499, another rookie autograph for the Chiefs. 
Nice. Whose podcast would I listen to? I don't know. I listen to what? What do I listen to? I listen to Buster. I like Buster only. I listen to his Baseball Tonight podcast. I listen to that. I listen to the ESPN FC podcast, or I guess it's the show, but they 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 put it out on a podcast. Out of four ninety nine, Luke Wilson. I don't have time for Joe Rogan's podcast. I just I just watch I just watch like uh I just watch video clips from like whatever interesting person he talked to that particular week or whatever. Conan O'Brien has all sorts of different content that I that I enjoy. Mike Gillisley, Jersey and Otter. He had a I don't think he does this regularly, but he had a he had a long form interview sort of thing with the with all the writers or all the old writers of the Simpsons, which he was on for like a season or so. This goes to the Dolphins. James Majority. But he doesn't do that kind of long form podcast too often. Maybe it was a video podcast. I don't know, but I li- I liked that a lot. I think that is on YouTube. I think it's more of a video thing, but I thought that was pretty enjoyable. And he's a lot more, you know, just kind of more interview and kind of disgusting stuff. He's not he's not like on per se. I do like Jalen and Kobe. I think is still are they still doing podcast? I think they still do podcasts. I think they're focusing a little more on TV though. They've transitioned a little bit towards television, but still do a little bit podcast wise all right there you have it folks random team two from the old 2013 select football let's do a quick recap this is kind of a half hour break so maybe worth just kind of breezing through we've got a couple kelsey's which was really nice some redemptions a few cardinals there was another gold kelsey to 10 there's that other kelsey nice deandre hopkins was pretty strong so not too shabby for something that's what, seven seven years old? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.